Hey Internet, it's Gunter with Mini Mishaps and it is an exciting day on Wednesday midweek paint because we are going to be painting up the Golden Airship. Okay, so last time we said that uh, this time we were going to try and get this project done and I'm very excited that we did actually get the airship done this week. The um, It is for a player. They brought it into one of the locations where I run D&D sessions. They asked if I could paint it and I said of course and uh, they said I could put it on the video for you guys so you get to join us for that process. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give a uh, wood color base coat uh, to the ship part of the ship. Uh, there's uh, a couple of main colors here are going to be gold for the trim, wood for the uh, wood parts, and then uh, bone white for the sails. Um, and then so we've got this was actually kind of a hard piece to paint not because of its I mean it did take a ton of time and, and its size and the amount of paint and everything but it also for these sails and for well for the sails the the mesh is actually there the, they're, they're really well detailed sails uh, the little cross hatchings in the ropes that are holding these sail parts together and I didn't want any of that to get filled in with the paint uh, so I'm painting lighter layers, more layers, with thinner paint uh, to try and um, make sure that those hatches don't get filled in. And the trouble is that these <laughs> sails are all scoop shaped, so if you get too thin then it's, your paint is pooling at the bottoms of those, those shapes on the one side. Uh, so we do have, uh, in addition to the main body, that has a like a gangplank that attaches to the side, a boarding dock plank, as well as a climbing ladder for it when it's up in the air. So that's cool. It's actually got those installed places on the side of the, the boat for those to go in. So then we went around and we did all the trim in gold. There's a lot of it and um, I'll probably have to pick up some more gold after this project because there was so much of it. It's a really cool looking ship. It's got little swirls and things. It's very kind of Viking-esque or medieval-esque. And uh, the only kind of strange part is that it has this big floor on the top. That wood that you see is actually a big hard piece of cardboard. So I don't know if that's so that you can take it out to change out the floors if you want it to look like something different or if you want to put ta hashes or tiles or because um, underneath it's not boat it's just plastic toy uh, there's no detailing under that floor so I'm not sure if they were doing that just so that it would you know manufacture more easily or what the what the process was there for that so but those three main tones here's our first set of base coats and there it is with the the two colors um, I went around and I added the bone white back into where all the ropes are so that uh, is on the sails at the bases and it, and it kind of masks the fact that these have very large kind of clunky hinges I, I don't think it's meant to be that they're supposed to be real mobile uh, for gameplay or anything. I think it's more that it just was easier to to install the pieces by by clicking them into place at the end. Uh, so then we've got our dark wash out and this really brought out, I was so glad that I did the careful white uh, because this wash really brought out the hatching, the, the little bends and folds in the sail, the little patches, the sail head patches. Um, as well as the you know parts of the rope so we have got it all um, with the wash and that is it we are going to put it up on the spinner it's beautiful I absolutely love how this turned out what a accidental great lighting <laughs> I 
for taking the pictures of it too, kind of like it's coming out of the sunrise or going into the sunset or something, but it's awesome. It's super fun. Thanks for letting me paint. Thanks for joining me and watching and supporting the channel. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, Internet.